Hey, hey, what's up, garden friends? Really, right when, right when the breeze kicks in. Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Doing some cleanup and some pickup. Getting ready to move. I keep forgetting these videos are coming up. Doesn't matter. Don't worry about all that. By the time this video comes out, everything will be inside. Update time. Update on my Yucca Rostrata. I got this plant back in 2019. It was sent to me bare root and I potted it up in this like fun cement concrete like planter. And I've been getting a lot of requests to do updates on it. People want to see how the plant's been doing. Did it take root? All of the above. So here we are. I did do a small update on this in a vlog at some point, either this summer or last summer. I, I don't really remember which, but you know, that's tucked inside of like a 30 to hour long minute video. I figured something more dedicated would be more appropriate and then people can just search for it and find it easier this way. This is probably one of my favorite plants that I have around. It has that gorgeous foliage. I absolutely love the way the growth looks as it's coming off the top of that trunk because it comes out like a, like a ball. It just looks so neat and intricate. And I really, I haven't done much with this plant. It's probably another reason that I love it so much because very low fuss, very, very, very low fuss. So it's had two winters indoors so far. I keep it in a bright spot of the garage, not on the heated side. So it's just nice and cool. And then I give it just a little splash of water probably once a month because, you know, it's yucca. They don't need a lot of water. Not when temps are nice and cool. It's probably in the 40s and 50s on the cool side of the garage. It's going to shift around depending on the weather outside, but generally that's where it's at. And when it's that cool, it just doesn't need much water. And then as of now, it has had three summers outdoors. And during the summers, I also still haven't done much with it. I keep it in a spot where it gets shaded in the afternoon. They can take full sun, but with all the pavement and uh, the uh, pot, it's not in the ground. I just prefer it be more sheltered. There's a beach ball. The wind just, the wind's blowing a beach ball into frame over here from the pool. Gets a little top dressing of compost in the spring, some slow release tomato fertilizer, and then it mostly just gets watered whenever it rains. And if we go more than a week without rain, then I do make sure to go and water it by hand. Just it's in a pot. Those roots can't stretch out to get to the water. Yeah, they're drought tolerant, but if I want the plant to stay looking nice and have a nice girthy trunk on it, then the hydration needs to stay fairly consistent during the growing season. And then what could be done better? I think that's an important thing to talk about if doing an update on a plant that you've had for a long time. I do think that this could probably go for a repot at this point. So next year, this will be getting one of those in the spring. I'll bump it up into a larger container, which I'm going to regret. I think I mentioned when I potted this plant up that as much as I love this planter, it's gonna suck getting it out because the top of the pot is smaller than the bottom. But who knows, maybe it'll lift right out. I don't know. Worst case scenario, have to break the pot, but ideally won't need to do that. It hasn't done anything to tell me that it needs to go in a new pot. With a yucca, they're kind of slow to respond to things, right? They're not the fastest of growers. Well, depending on what kind you have. The rostrata in a pot where it gets moved on out from the house during the winter time is not going to grow as quickly as one in the ground. And there's going to be a longer amount of time between seeing if there's something wrong. So sometimes with a plant like this, it'll seem like everything's fine. And then one day it's just like, uh-oh, something's wrong. And then you have to act on that and treat it. But I do think that getting it into a new pot in the spring, that will be fine because like I said, it hasn't shown me that it needs to be repotted. Yeah, even though it's not acting like it needs a repot, I will have had it three years in the spring. It's going to be time. Just to be safe, may as well pop it into a new planter with some fresh soil. Maybe I'll put it on drip next year just to see if I can speed the growth up on it a smidge. It has done a pretty good amount of growing considering because I'm nearly positive. Nearly, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that the apex, the growing head right here, I think that that was right around here when I got it. I don't know, the video will play at the beginning, so we'll be able to have a look back, have a look back at it now and see. But once this is probably put on like a good, maybe four to six inches of growth since I got the plant, that's pretty good. Especially considering it's in a pot and gets moved around and I don't really do much with it other than just give it some fresh blend on top and some slow release occasionally. Maybe a hand watering if it needs it. But just imagine if it were on drip, I think that there would be even more growth out of it. Now, with a plant like this, if I were to put it on drip, then I would put it on the lowest pressure, like slowest emitter possible, because you know, it's a yucca. Don't want to drown it and then have to make sure that that water is not coming into contact 
with the foot of the plant at all because that could cause rot. It wouldn't be something I would probably run very often. I love the base of the plant and all the little leaflets that get left behind on the stem. Those are fun. And then you come up top and you can see that pretty like icy colored foliage. Icy is not a color. Bluish foliage. There we go. Yeah, that's it. There's the update. Not a lot to it, but it seems pretty happy. It's been doing pretty well. It's a sturdy plant. One of the reasons I love this so much is because I don't have to move it in with the rest of my plants as soon as there's a risk of frost. I generally leave this out into the 20s and it's fine. If there's going to be like an ice storm or a lots and lots of precipitation and then a freeze, then I will put it someplace sheltered or go ahead and scoot it in. But otherwise, it hangs outside probably, I would say, maybe eight months out of the year, whereas most of the tropicals, like the crotons and all the others, they're only out here probably six to seven months out of the year. And really, I could push this further and likely keep it outside like up to 10 months out of the year, but they just grow so slow. They're so expensive and fairly hard to come by with a trunk on them, which is something I talked about in that video when I got it. This is a plant I've wanted since I was a little kid. And uh, to be able to get one that had that nice blue foliage on it and already had a trunk on it so I could skip that like five to 10 year waiting process. That's how it is when you have them in a pot. And it doesn't seem worth the risk to me. I'd rather just move it in and have it in the garage just to be safe. Oh, no flowers out of it as of yet. I probably could get there if I were to move it out earlier in the year. I might do that next year. Go ahead and pop it outside in like early March or late February and see how it responds to that. And maybe a fresh repotting might help. I don't know. I don't really care about the flowers. They look really cool on these yuccas. The rostratas have really awesome flower heads on them, but uh, I really, I just like the plant. But it'd be good to get it to flower because that's a sign of a healthy plant, right? All right, that's gonna do it. Hope everybody's doing well. Having a great day and a great life. Everything's just going beautifully for you. And comment down below. Say hi, I love talking to everybody. What do you, you, you have these? What are you doing with them? I know people grow them outside in zone six and even warmer parts of zone five. But like I said, with the rates that they grow, how hard they are to find in a large size and how much they cost, it's just not a risk I'm willing to take. And there are even people who live around here who do have them outside in their yards. I just, I don't know. I don't want to do it. Freaks me out, makes me nervous. Eh, nope, not happening. All right, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.